Yes, so again, oh, my people. Good day and welcome back to our YouTube channel, oh, my distinguished viewers. This our channel, Nabi, Everyday People's Voice, all of us know now. We say we bring every breaking news and all what they happen for this country, we they bring up to now. Very close. You just see so. And our source of information, they very correct and accurate. Now make that the colors the leaders of breaking news in the world. My country people, if this is your first time to come across our channel, I beg, make you help us subscribe, like, and share our videos. Thank you very much for staying with us. My country people, I beg, this video will not want to watch so eh? Now you must watch the video. I beg, we could have watch out to the end. We could have know what they try to talk. Make it not be like that we they talk up. We could have hear the in-depth analysis of what they talk about this video. We could have watch the video, we could have understand them very well. I don't want to waste our time. We could dive into the video at once. David Briggs. Well, in recent times, um, about three or four days ago, uh, we all had the outburst of uh, the former governor of uh, River State, uh, Barisa Yeso Wike, especially when he made reference to the fact that he built an hospital and named it after one man. He built a judicial inst institute and named it after one woman. It's unfortunate for Wike to describe His Excellency Sir Dr. Peter Dele as one man. It's very disturbing that uh, Wike will today describe Her Excellency uh, Justice Mary Odile, Supreme Court judge retired as one woman. But I want to put the records very clear. Like I said previously, I don't need to consult Odile to defend what I know is the truth. I don't need his consent, and this is not with his consent, to defend what I know is the truth. First, that Wike never and has never built any hospital to named after Dr. Peter Odile. That hospital was built or is built by the rivers state government, by our money, taxpayers' money, and revenue derived from the federal account. It was not Wicked's handwork. Rather, the reverse is the case. Dr. Peter Dele built a university and named part of the university after a son that they think is reasonable, a son that they think is worthy to be a son. So the reverse is the case. But let me state here, and for purpose of record, what is all the less offense in the sight of Wicked? Wiki decided to, to, to destabilize River State by planning an impeachment of the present governor of River State and asked Felix Obua to go and recruit Odele to be part of that plan. Felix Obua went to Odele's house in an attempt to recruit him to be part of it and Odele rejected it and said, you have just come to tell me to be part of you, not to mediate if there's any mixed uh, understanding between the governor, present governor and... Uh, and Wike, please, I will not be part of it. But rather, let me call. And he did. He called Wike, begged him in the name of God, begged in the name of in his own father that is departed. Please don't do it. You brought this man. Let us settle this matter peacefully. Wike promised him, yes, he's going to do that. And I was coming to Podakot, and he's going to see him that weekend. Wike came, executed his plan, perfected his impeachment move that unfortunately have failed very woefully, Odile still intervened. Wike pretended as it were there was network problem and off the phone and said, no, 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 no. said network, network. I'm going, to, I'm going to call you back. And Odile said, well, he will call me back. So he said, I've been waiting for him to call him back. That is the offense Odile committed inside of Wike. And ever since, he has no peace. But let us talk about the hospital he claimed to have built. The hospital he claimed to be the best in West Africa. The cancer and cardiovascular uh, hospital. That is the worst hospital so far built. And I think it's important for Julius Beja to call Wikis at, uh, to attention so that he will, not, uh, he will not make some of us to expose the incompetency of Julius Beja. That hospital that is cancer hospital, that hospital that is supposed to take care of a heart problem, do not have a radiotherapy section in their design and implementation. That, that hospital that he's talking about do not have a cancer hospital, does not have a tarot, uh, sorry, uh, chemotherapy section. I bet with anybody, I'm challenging the media in Nigeria, come, let's go and take uh, uh, a confirmation tour of the place. 
If those things exist, I bet my integrity and I submit myself to the police for prosecution. And ask yourself, how can a cancer center function without the radiotherapy, without the chemotherapy section? And the worst of it, we can should hide itself in shape. The fact that some of us have not spoken is because we are now elders. As 60 years, we have to condole and we want the peace of River State. A man who, con who, who concluded building an, uh, a government who, who concluded building an hospital with River's people's money, running into billions, equipped him with running into billions, entered into a management agreement with the consultative firm he brought and signed an agreement that at the end of the day, the profit sharing will be 97% of the consultancy firm that he brought and 3% only River State government. Uh, River State government. 97 for managing the place, percent. And those who actually brought out the money to build it will have only 3%. It should hide itself in faith. We will not want to go back into it. It's time for him to learn to be quiet the way the governor is quiet so that we can enjoy peace. Not to come week after week to create tension in this. It's time for him to stop insulting not delay, either by words or by action. Because each time he does that, he's agitating the minds of rivers people. And at the end of the day, it will be very difficult. There's a proverb that says that if a child goes to the dustbin to disturb the dustbin, either he will have a laceration or a partial wound.